Hello everyone and welcome back to another Train Some World 2 live stream. Uh, tonight we are on the Peninsula Corridor on the west coast of uh, the US, obviously in California, obviously hence the name Caltrain Peninsula Corridor. Uh, but let me get this all sorted out then I'll be in the chat. Hopefully everyone is well tonight, obviously only one stream tonight because of the roadmap. Um, what did everyone think of the roadmap? There wasn't too much going on. Obviously Cane Creek has obviously gone up now to uh, next arrival. Uh, so it can't be too long until that comes out now, which I'm looking forward to. Obviously, that being Skyhook Games is uh, first route to uh, to the uh, to the series, which is going to be cool. But let me get this sorted first, and I'll see who we have got in the chat. We have got quite a few people in, uh, and yes, tonight's route is at the request of Rob. Uh, so yeah, good choice, Rob, and I can see him in the chat. But yeah, let me quickly get this sorted. Um, Rob, if you did want to play along, this is the 703 baby bullet, mate. Um, there you go, it's a bit of that. It's a bit of that as well. Right, so in the chat we have got uh, Nanny, Roblox, Crazy Dash, Amela, uh, Laserjet, Rob, uh, Kenzie, Roblox, Devon. Uh, how's everyone doing? You're not buying Kenku when it first comes out, but you're going to get it on sale. Fair enough. I bet you tomorrow. Right, let's uh, get this all sorted. It's about an hour or so up to uh, up to um, San Francisco. Hello, Munchies. Almost lunchtime. We're out for you. Come through of entertainment. Awesome, Munchies. How are you? Well, it's been a little while since I've been in here. Um, well, now it's that. Let's get the doors open. Uh, that's that. Uh, we need to pop for that. Oh, there you go, it's done it now. Uh, we need to do that in... Like so. They've removed all COVID restrictions here in New York, so we basically don't need to wear masks anymore. Oh, brilliant, the Miller. I mean, probably when they do the hair, I'll probably still end up wearing a mask, just, you know, for the next few months. Be on the safe side. Uh, let's get... Oh, is the keyboard not even on there? Of course it's not. Instrument lights on... Number lights, we'll get them on. Um, headlights, put them to dim and auxiliary. Evening, Pete, enjoying a nice cup of tea in my British Ace Moderators mug. Awesome, Pete, mate. Hello, Berlin Bear, how are you? Uh, good to hear, Kenzie. Good and bad news. What first? Do the bad news first. Hello, Brian. Hello, Pep. You're not driving the 3 and 4 this time. No, uh, we're doing a bit of Prince of Corridor at the request of Rob. Uh, and obviously, yeah, thanks again, Rob, for the donation. Much appreciated, mate. I'm annoyed that there was no announcement of the West Cornwall line train, so I'm sure it will be, you know, when it will be. Uh, I think that's pretty much ready to go. Fair enough, Amela. Yeah, but how is everyone tonight? Hopefully everyone's well. I can hear another service. Is that going out? I suppose we'll have to wait for that one, I'm guessing. Right, let's get the doors shut. And also, are the lights on in here? No, they're not on, so we need to put them on. I don't think there is HEP in this cab. So what we need to do is quickly go to the back. Did you cut in the brakes? Yeah, I did. Uh, we need to go to this side quick, and we quickly need to set up this. Uh, do a bit of that. Then you do that. And that one goes to that. And we need to get the number lights on as well, which I think in this one are actually behind. Am I right in saying that? Um, okay, maybe not. Hello, Blaze. How are you? Hello, Julian. Hello, Daniel. <laughs> Take care, mate. Enjoy your work. Um, bloody number lights. So, marker lights. I need them. Number lights. I can't I don't know where. Where are they in this one? Right. We're going to try not to be late. Uh, I think they are on this wall. Number lights. Right, we need to win to get win to get going, we'll do that in a second. Right. Let's get the brakes off. Doesn't have number lights, so I'll see. Uh hello Davidoff. I've got good news for you. What's that, uh Davidoff mate? Awesome pet. I oh, should get going. Right, let's go. Bad news is I overshot Maxwell Park with 400 metres. Good news is I'm doing the exact same service because I have the baby bullet add-on. Awesome. Well, you can do some sort of points challenge, I guess. Let's put the, um, uh, what one is it? 
There you go. Not good, actually give up on my dad. He's mad. Yep. So, oh, right. That is not good to hear, mate. Let's get that off. Right, yeah, coming out of San Jose now, and it's Sunnyvale next, which is uh, just north of Lawrence Station. It's quite easy to uh, go through this one. Yeah, there we are coming out. Cool. Got 17 people in, so thanks all for coming in this evening. Hey, there's Joe. <laughs> Yeah, it was your out west coast. How you doing, Joe, mate? Hope you're doing well. Uh, it's quickly put this in all the places it needs to be in. Uh, shockingly, I didn't overshoot on Kafka. I stopped at all stations within two metres. Blimey, what's going on, Amela? Not overshooting, eh? I think soon enough, you'll be able to change your name back. Uh, let's quickly put that in our server as well. Sometimes it doesn't do it. There we go, now full attention on the stream. Hello Jasper, how are you? Hope you're all well. I hope there won't be further delays with the 3 on 3. I'm sure it will come out, you know, that's a couple of months pep, shouldn't be too long. Alright, lovely. Good to hear Joe, I'm good, good to hear. Up to 20. You named it, I'm pretty well. Good to hear, Jasper. Good to hear. And yeah, what was everyone thought? Well, what was everyone's thoughts on today's roadmap? Obviously, Cane Creek has gone up now to next arrival. So, not long now. Hello, James. How are you? Of course, cool. so yeah, we're in the bi level uh, Bombardier uh, coaches today up to, um, up to San Francisco. Why is my laptop laggy today? Oh, I know how it feels, James. My laptop is laggy all the time. Struggles to just get on YouTube. Good news is, look, I uh, can do it in a minute, second, uh, in, uh, after this, Davidoff, mate. But I think I know what it's going to be, so big thanks, Davidoff, mate. That's an interesting one, yeah. My train isn't moving. Oh, uh, make sure you've uh, put the engine run button to pressed, and make sure you've cut out the brakes. Can you show me the outside camera? Yeah, can do. Here it is. This is the uh, MP36 add-on. Obviously, the MP36 being at the back. Yeah, that's what I'm at. There we go. Just going past the seam off, I believe it is there. There we go. Cool, let's get back in. Let's get going. And also at the moment, Rivet are working on the 1938 stock. So I suppose they're probably, I mean, I think they're a smaller team. So I suppose they'll be working on that first. And then they'll go over to doing West Cornwall. They're probably only starting that one. Hello, MG. How are you? It's going to be the greatest day in CSW2 history when the 3 on 3 final. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. But I'm sure it will come when it comes. Silly buggers, eh, Joe? I don't understand either. A hey, twenty pound from David. Keep working hard, Joe. You're doing a great job. Much appreciated, uh, Davidoff, mate. Uh, obviously, do go and check out Davidoff's channel. He does simulation, train spotting, bus spotting. Uh, big thanks, Davidoff. Uh, and yeah, as it is a orange one, what route do you want to see tomorrow? Fair enough, Jasper. Fair enough. Yeah, big big thanks Davidoff mate. I'll keep saying that throughout the stream. But actually yeah, in fact, uh, any game that you want us to play Davidoff, obviously what we've got on the channel. Um, yeah, any game or route really. I mean if it's a route, it can be tomorrow. If it's a game, it will be Thursday. Uh, but yeah, big thanks Davidoff. Yeah, 
for it. Santa Clara. Is TSW 12... Uh, Brian, no silly questions, please. Is TSW 2? I'll try the service again on foot waiting for the 716 or some Berlin Bear. Might as well spawn it at 715 then at Sunnyvale. You want to see Great Western Express tomorrow? Well, that's tomorrow's stream then, Great Western Express. Big thanks, Davido. Lovely. Been in the sun today a little bit. You know, I was in the sun a little bit earlier, sort of in the morning. But this afternoon I've sort of been inside. Yeah, a bit of speed and this was up to 80 pretty much. I still don't understand why it is 79 miles an hour. I mean, wouldn't it just be easy if it was 80? Why 79? Well, I don't think it was confirmed, Joe. Uh, I think people just sort of thought it, it might be today, as we see the next roadmap to the rush hour one. So I think it was really just, I suppose, maybe a rumour going around. But obviously, they're working on the 1938 stock at the moment, so I doubt we would see it until that's a bit closer. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it, man? 79 miles an hour. Oh, hello, Brendan. How are you? Oh, I'm guessing you brought the Cathcart Circle mug, Davidoff. Or the Javelin one. I'm not too sure, but big thanks, Davidoff, mate. And good to hear it actually worked the members mug, because we had a few problems with uh, people managing to get that. I think it's 79 because it's supposed to be kilometres an hour. I did think that, Jasper, but then in the US they use miles an hour, so it wouldn't be kilometres an hour. Well, look, let me have a look. And I look up 79 miles an hour in kilometres and see if it is like a a nice number. Let's have a look. But you think they just have it at 80? I mean, I don't know if they're going to increase the speed when they get the electric trains on it. Right, let's have a look. Uh, 79 miles an hour in kilometres an hour. In kilometres an hour. It's 127 kilometres an hour, so probably not the reason why it's an odd number. Oh. You know, get away with it by going at 79. Oh, cheers, Greg. Well, now we know. We now know why Prince of Corridor is 79 miles an hour, not 80. Sort of to get away with using cab signalling. I mean, in cab signalling is usually on high speed stuff. I mean, um, yeah, I don't know why there would be in cab signalling at such a low speed. Hello, Jim, how are you? You got sunburn. Ooh, not good for Jim. Well, have a nice cold shower. Lagging a lot. Uh, on my rerun, it seems to be okay at the moment. Um, yeah, it doesn't seem to be having any issues my end at the moment. But you never know, I might, might do it. This is high speed from America. You're doing good, good to hear. Is in Peninsula Corridor, will it be updated or not? Because it does not appear in the roadmap. Well, it's not being worked on the upgrade at the moment. Uh, obviously, at the moment, it's West Somerset Railway, Main Somerset Barn, and the Bakerloo Line. So I'm sure at some point, uh, the upgrade, well, it will be being worked on, on here. Right, sunny bell, here we are. Let's get that on. The brakes on here are fairly simple to operate. Okay, that's alright then. It's ATR traps in Connecticut. Uh, Connecticut. Connecticut. I can, I, sometimes I can pronounce that state, but sometimes I can't. <laughs> Connecticut. There you go. And in some sections. Whoa, we need to slow down. Uh, 
Hello Tyler, would you ever consider playing Sea of Thieves? Uh, I don't have an Xbox, so uh, I can't unfortunately. It does look like a good game though. You know, like an adventure, pirate game. That's sort of my thing, but no, it's not on the, not on the PS. Hello Norfolk, how are you? And we wait. U.S. Uh, Connecticut, Connecticut. Oh, yeah, Connecticut, isn't it? Connecticut. I think the U.K. is a country that allowed the fastest speed without the need of cab signal. That being 140. Yeah, I mean 140. I mean it's not that quick. I mean. Obviously, Great Western, you go, what, 125 on there, you can see the signals just fine. The doors are about to close. Well, that's TVM, doesn't it? Crazy Dash. Obviously, yeah, what was it? Uh, the Advanced Passenger Train, I think that could go faster without needing in cab signaling. You're looking forward to GTA 6, awesome pet. Well, there's that GTA 5 extension, isn't there? Coming up. Oh, fair enough, Berlin Bear. Yeah, I saw that toilet, so that's good. Alright, pay the auto next. Obviously, yeah, I would like to bring some games to the channel, so once we get a PC, uh, we'll play TS. Uh, so I've got loads of DLC, loads of DLC. I uh, just haven't been able to play in years on it. Um, obviously, yeah, trucking games will bring. Uh, it's, it'll be a, quite a and flight sim if we won't, we'll win and we get a PC. Hello, Mike. Uh, when I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Cheers, uh, Mike, mate. Oh, we'll keep coming. But ha hopefully, you're uh, all well. Awesome, Berlin Bear. Yeah, that's true, Joe. As soon as I join, I see. Yeah, you sure did, Sim Gamer. Obviously, big thanks to Davido. How you doing, Sim Gamer? Awesome pet. Oh, but I'm at 155 miles an hour. Do you think the GP38-2 from Peninsula Corridor will be added as a layer to Cane Creek? I would think so, although this is a DTG route and that is a Skyhook Games route, although I think they do get on quite well out of the two companies, so we might get a layer for the GP38 on Cane Creek. I mean, I don't see why not, I mean, it's on here, Union Pacific. Obviously, maybe utilise it more on Cane Creek, that would be cool. Let's get a flyby shot. Let's whiz ahead. Fly by the horn, just about to do that laser jet. I'm coming up on mountain view. There we go. Cool. Going pretty quick now. Hundred and sixty two point six. Right, this is Mountain View, which means we're ten miles out of fifty down. Or ten mark ten out of fifty down. There we go through that. 5.8 miles to pedal to. Yeah, a nice chilled out route this one, especially if you're doing the baby bullet. Uh, not a lot can go wrong. It's just a clear through run. Speed really doesn't change at 79 most of the way. Yeah, it's pretty relaxed. It's good to see some game. I pulled a muscle from doing a long jump. Jump only 4 metres. Oh. Well, I'm sure it'll get uh, better soon. 
Okay, come and try and get up to 25 lights. Doing the Redwood City switch to service, awesome Berlin Bear. Why don't you use the alert system? Is there one in here? Oh, there is. Well, we got it on now. Where's the switch fat then? Is it up here? Yeah, I don't know where the switch is for that. I've never found that before. Well, now we've got it on. Four point four miles. Oh, that's the matter. Lovely. I think it probably will be greens most of the way through on today's run. I don't think much is going to be stopping us. 3.7. Another service there, another MP36. Obviously, yeah, there is a couple of DLC for this route. Obviously, one being the MP36 uh, cab car and obviously the Loco, uh, which obviously we're in now. Uh, and there's also the MP15 DC switcher, which adds quite a bit to this route. So there's quite a bit on this route, which is nice. Well, I, think I think there's literally everything on this route which they could have. Um, I think Caltrain only operate this route, so they've only got obviously limited amount of uh, different trains. So another 67 today hauling X LNER Mark IV coaches. Awesome pet. All right, Tyler. Maybe they're in sort of cabinets. Where, by the way? Yeah, it's nice, isn't it, Joe? Fresh. Even DB, do you know if Cane Creek is coming next week? I mean, there's probably a high chance of it. Obviously, they are previewing it this week. Um, yeah, there's, there's a good chance. And obviously, probably on the next roadmap, that's when Cane Creek will be sort of off it as it will be out. So, yeah. There, uh, there's probably a strong chance of it coming out. Awesome, Amela. Yeah, they go to Gilroy, don't they, Joe? I think it's a very limited service, and I think it's, what, only half an hour more? Um, but I don't think they operate another different train to go there. I think I want my best coming from Gilroy. No, I want San Jose. But I think what we've got in the game right now is pretty much all they operate, Caltrain. Awesome DB. Very limited, yeah. I mean, what is that Gilroy? Is it a town or is it just like a village or something? Awesome Tyler. Yeah, looking forward to that. I'll see that we will be streaming that at midnight. And I'll probably actually end up doing a uh, full shift uh, on the Cane Creek. Cause I think it's five hours, so we'll, we'll probably do that. Is the F40s, is it? Yeah. Right, going through here, probably have slowed down a bit early, but oh well. As the garlic capsule. Mm. Interesting to be known as that. Five hours, is it? Yeah, we could probably do uh, five hours on Cane Creek. I mean, what's the journey time like on Cane Creek? 35 miles long, isn't it? Uh, I think it's faster than Sand Patch. So was it about an hour journey from one end to the other? Awesome Berlin Bear. Here we are. Hello, train sim. 
I'm good, how are you? And Sussex is known as the chicken capital. <laughs> chicken capital. C4 on G. Well, I think actually I've got chickens today, Pete. Um, I'll probably have kebs tonight. Chicken kebs. Yeah, why not? Nice and easy to put on with some chips. Well, I'd think a shift would be to take potash empties up the branch, switch to facility and leave with load hoppers. Yeah, possibly. Um, was it Menlo... Park next, I think. Oh, Redwood City. Okay, we're not stopping at Menlo Park. Quite a lot of the time you do stop there. Alright, oh, throw and throw. Well, I'm sure it won't be long. So I'm sure they're working the best they can to get out as soon as they can. Uh, right, let's get that on. Let's go. I don't know, Pete. Oh, I can't remember. What we I think it's ham and. The uh, ham and cheese, I think. Yeah, I feel I'm feel about when it's out. And so they are working on it, so I'm seeing production. It's not sat at the back, forgotten about. It is being worked on still. Unless it will be out next couple of months or so. Yeah, see you for free. Uh, your dinner is ready. Awesome. Well, take care, mate, and enjoy it. Just picked up some hoppers. Awesome bird and bear. Hey, JH, I'm good. How are you, mate? Hopefully you're doing well. That's what I did today, Mella. A bit of practice. I just polished off a buffalo chicken sammy with some tots or some uh, munchies. Good, JH. What about you? A treat night? Pete, that's where you get a takeaway every night. Or is just every night a treat night? How about... I'm just going to try out fast food. Um, a Domino's. Pizza night, Pete. Pizza Pete. Domino's. I don't know if they do deliver that on delivery or whatnot. Good here, JH. Well, no, Domino's have their own delivery service, don't they? I've oh, got an F40 here. Not every night. The zoom on the front for us. Yeah, it's brilliant, isn't it, Amela? There's the F40 there, obviously that is the base sort of train you'll get uh, with the Peninsula Corridor. What's sweet pet? That's alright, JH. That's right then, Pete. Maybe go for a pizza with chicken on it. Or a pineapple pizza, Pete, even better. Actually, no, no, tonight, no, I, I don't have chicken tonight. It's Tuesday, which means it's pizza night. Pineapple pizza. Brilliant. Brilliant, eh, JH? I've actually brought out a trailer for it, quite funnily. Spring of effective. 110 miles an hour. Oh, I'm at. Fair enough, Pete. I could murder a takeaway at some stage if I do cook. Fair enough. Three miles to Redwood Sea. And Redwood Sea, I think, is around halfway sort of on the journey. Um, yeah, Redwood Sea is around halfway ish between San Jose and San Francisco. The baby bullet service don't take long. It is munchies, yeah, it is. Have a wind effect in here when you open the window up. Get that off buzzer. Don't know. Oh, we've got two miles now to Redwood City. 
you can probably feel the sensation of speed in this though. Um, you, yeah, you can feel the speed very well in this. I think because you're fairly low to the track in the uh, cab car, it does feel, you know, you can feel the speed. What's it after Redwood City? Millbrae? Let's have a look. Is it Millbrae after Redwood City? Oh, San Mateo, okay. The buzz like that, so. Got a GP38 there, I think, snapped around the back there. No, I thought I saw something. Whoa, hello. Let's get that off. Right, let's start getting uh, the brakes on. It's not far now. The brakes are coming on as we come up to Redwood City. Yeah, what is everyone's favourite service to do on the Pinster Corridor? Do you like the baby billet services, the limited stop services, or the all stops? What, what do you prefer doing? Personally, I like doing the uh, baby billet. It's about an hour, it's quick, so it's a nice service. Yeah, the baby billet, fair enough, munchies. The thing is, they call it the baby billet. I mean, I know it says baby billet, but I mean, it's not It's not a bullet train in any sort of way. Is this DLC good? Oh, definitely, Jasper. It's uh, one of the longest DLCs. Uh, I think I believe it's 51 miles this route. Uh, obviously, it's the west coast of the US. It's a passenger US route. Um, there's plenty of DLC for it. Although it's not like a big network, uh, it's basically A to B. It's, uh, yeah, it's a lovely route, something different. And obviously Caltrain as well. Um, a nice bit of old sort of US um, passenger stuff. Yeah, it's a lovely route. Thing is, I still consider this route newish, even though it came out 2019. I think bullet is more a reference to its limited stop pattern, yeah, possibly. If I was doing this route or considered doing this route, I would do the all station stops, fair enough. You prefer the freight on this route, fair enough. Yeah, obviously it's, um, that's right there. It's fairly straight most of the way. It's a fairly easy route to, um, to drive along. Especially when you don't obey bullet. What happens if you press above what says alarm and says test button? Let's do it. TMS. Probably break the train. Oh, that is the alarm system. Right, I don't, I don't want that on. You can go off now. Right, that's just that. The main thing I enjoy about this route is the wide diversity in services. Fair enough. <laughs> Alright, Joe. Yeah, I just still consider this route new. I mean, it's only been, I mean, it's only, I mean, it's almost been two years since it came out. It doesn't feel that long, though. Yeah, it's brilliant, Munchies. And I think Caltrain worked with uh, DTG very closely on this route as well. So it's been done very well. Like, all the other little details have been added as well. As Caltrain were, yeah, very much wanting this to be um, spot on. It's been brilliant. The alarm won't do nothing to you, just gonna start shouting excessively in the shower. It's alright then. Right, and we are off. What was the first route you worked on then, Joe, mate? I'm guessing one of the uh, base game ones. I'm guessing maybe Bakerloo or Chanel Fast Trekker. Hello, um, hello, hello, Hunter Jupiter, how are you? Did you see my last comment? Uh, did you say because YouTube Circle was going around? Uh, I probably did see your last comment, Davido. Yeah, I probably did, but do pop it again. Do pop it again, just in case. Yeah, it's nice, Amela. It's a nice, uh, nice train, nice bit of traction. Livery looks fresh. Brilliant. 
6.9 miles. Yeah, so we got Milbra, and after Milbra, we should be fast then all the way to San Francisco. So what happens if we don't clear the alarm? Amelis shouts at us. Oh, it does that beep 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 sound. First row I worked on was Baker, just kind of learning things and doing anything that I knew how to do from TS1, such as AI for the scenarios, but I had no idea what I was doing back then. Fair enough, Joe. I'm guessing it's really nice to sort of see how the game's come along. And obviously how the work's improved and all that. It's brilliant. Brilliant stuff, mate. Oh, yes. Yeah, I saw that. Um, that was my, yeah, big thanks, mate. Well, yeah, the Cathcart Circle merch is really fresh. It's the 314 uh, just outside of Glasgow Central. Obviously all hand-drawn um, using, well, Photoshop. Looks brilliant. Finish the shunt in, awesome. Let's get another fly by shot. That's a whiz ahead. Awesome, let's get back in. Get that on. Got to see little things added to the editor over time and extra little features per add on, the POS being my favourite so far. Fair enough, Joe. Because I think that's actually one of the things which is actually more advanced on this game than TS. Uh, the POS, I don't think the old TS actually does have POS, but well, I suppose it, there's not really any need for it because there's not a timetable mode. But yeah, I love the POS. Obviously, you know, going free roam to see when the next train's coming, it's brilliant. Yeah, for a few people it has been Jupiter, but um, yeah, for, I mean my end, uh, from what I'm saying, because I have it up on there as well to see the chat, it's running fine for me. Um, so maybe there might be a YouTube issue, I don't know. Fair enough, Pat. Only PS on the trains, just static mo models and stations, TS, yeah, that's TSW1. Um. Yeah, There's a glitch, the baby of it, that when you drive the cab car, the engine has its headlights on. What in this one? Uh, does it have its headlights on? It doesn't have its headlights on, mate. Now you might have t uh, taken over the service uh, when the AI hadn't finished shutting it down. So maybe it had its headlights on then. Yeah, I'll be, I suppose the next step then for TSW, I suppose PIS on the trains. So we have got obviously uh, PIS, say, for example, on the 377 where it says, you know, this is to Brighton. Um, but maybe actually that's saying we might see a rush hour. Maybe it will see cooling at Preston Park, Hassock, all of the stations on the side. That would be awesome. Obviously TSW does improve with pretty much every single release. There's a new thing involved which makes it exciting. How you doing Jack mate? Oh awesome man. I've donated on here and on your merch, but as I say, I do love to help your channel out whenever I can. Well, much appreciated, David, if it all does help out. Yeah, that's quite close to the edge. Yeah, so yeah, big thanks, David, if the support is much appreciated. Obviously, all this goes into improving the channel, making it better for you guys, and really at this point, uh, as there's not really much new stuff coming, it probably is going towards a uh, computer, and then we can obviously get TS and do uh, TS stuff. Uh, at some point, Jupiter, but I don't really play much off stream. I sort of just, especially now it's summer, I've been chilling outside quite a bit. Oh, that's alright now, that's alright. Good to Jack, just going around in circles on glass, got awesome Jack. Well, that's the cool thing about uh, the Cathcart Circle, it's a closed network, so you can just, just stay on the same train going round and round for a long time, which is brilliant. 
And obviously that's going to be a cool thing about the Brighton Main Line. Obviously, about half the services, they'll be going obviously backwards and forth between Brighton and London. So it's, you know, you can just stay on the train for the whole time. I say going around the circles and doing an Ilston service, I mean still you get there and then go back and the you know, same train. Yeah, looking forward to see uh, the timetable we're working on, Joe. Looking forward to it, mate. Point nine now. I did have a shower this morning and I do feel better having a shower now. Nice to have it off. Uh, I hear lots of people prefer to keep with a train rail than it go to the portal, but even it's realistic that the train goes off map. But even when it's... Oh yeah, I, I, I mean, I prefer a bit of both, really. Um, I was that's talking about calf carbs, it's a closed network. Uh, but yeah, see when the train goes off, it goes off, and you just sort of wait for the next one, then it comes along, and then you just hop on that. A calf cart circle line is basically an outdoor rapid transit system. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Touch on the loop. Hi, chat. Right, coming into San Mateo. Cool. Seven forty-two. A couple of minutes late. It'll be alright. It's Cal train. I'm sure they're always late. Let's get that on. Rob, if you're still there, mate, how's your service getting on? I think you said you might play along with it. Now you're running on time because we're running a couple of minutes late. Now we hear about the food. And the overshoots. Although it does seem to be less of them now. Hello, Lee, how are you, mate? Hopefully, uh, hopefully you're having a good evening. Hello Rosalind, you hate Dovetail Games. You didn't even come and say hi before you said that. How you doing Rosalind? And you hate Dovetail Games. What is the reason for that? Right, let's uh, get that off. And let's get going. And don't say because your route, your favourite route isn't in the game. Obviously if you have a route you want to see in the game, put it on the forums. Good to hear that Lee, I'm just doing a bit of calf car at the moment. Awesome Lee, what service are you doing? Don't worry Joe, we'll get him. <laughs> uh, we've got 4.1 miles to Millbrae. You have a Miller. I mean, probably because the 314 is fairly simple to drive and um, but obviously once you know we get another passport to the next passenger route I suppose it would be North East Brighton Manor or North East Corridor I'm sure the overshoots will start again then oh Rosalind 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 because they didn't say what local will come in West Cornwall that's not DTG's route <laughs> that is Rivet Games doing that and I'm sure maybe they're not ready yet to announce it 
Something exactly well and bear. I hate Sandpat's Grey because of TS looking scenery. Well, I'm pretty sure Sandpat's Grey got a graphics upgrade when TSW2 came out, so. I don't know. Glasgow to Newton in this awesomely. I have yet to do a Cathcart in the snow. Yeah, Nimble the Bus. I have played TS and I can tell you, Sandpat's Grey does not have TS graphics. Yep, see you, Rosalyn. Yep. <laughs> I can't agree with that, Amela. Cathcart looks way better than Sandpat's Grave. Well, Cathcart is a newer route uh, to the game, so probably will look maybe a little bit better. Uh, it's still the same engine. Oh, right, Rosalyn. Two point six miles to Millbury, and then I think after that we are fast to uh, San Francisco. Oh, right well, now I think we are. Oh, hello. We're going at eighty. All right, let's bring that down to seventy-five in a second. We've got 26 people in, can we try and get up to 35 likes, that would be uh, brilliant. And obviously if you are enjoying the stream, do thank Rob, uh, he did uh, choose today's route. Obviously thanks again Rob for the donation, much appreciated mate. And yeah, tomorrow's stream will be on the Great Western Express. Not sure how many streams it will be tomorrow, uh, it depends what I'm doing. Because if I'm going out it will probably be one, but uh, if not we'll do two uh, tomorrow. Awesome Berlin bet. Now, I think when I do a Newton service, I think I prefer going, yeah, probably the west side. But I do like going on the east side back into Glasgow. Alright, one mile now to Millbrae. Kind of off a couple of minutes late, but I mean, that's fine. Brought that Legends pack uh, in the end, £9.50, but to have to do. How are you finding it, Lee, mate? Yeah, it's a brilliant pack, that one, especially, you know, whizzing down the uh, Great Western in the 52. Wish I was going to roll live tomorrow, but a bit conscious about Covid, fair enough, pet. Fair enough, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, there is switching services, mate, at Cumberland, uh, Cumberland Yard. There's quite a few, actually, where you can do that, shunt, you know, stuff and uncouple them and whatnot. Awesome, Lee. Awesome, yeah, I've done one so far. Oh, shit, the cool thing about diesel, uh, diesel legends is if you own the other routes, it will then layer onto it. Obviously, Northern, no, the heavy freight pack, you'll get the freight services on it. And obviously, Tees Valley, with the 31, you'll then get uh, the services from that. Yeah, it's silly, isn't it, Mother? People just don't understand the amount of work what goes into it. I mean, I've done computing, uh, which obviously is all the coding sort of stuff. And that is very difficult. Obviously, D2G are doing that day in, day out. So it's very difficult. Well, for me. Then you get us the. Uh, yeah, it's quite close, isn't it, Joe? I mean, in fact, there is actually AI planes you can see flying over. There's one there. I mean, how far is it to the airport from here? So I think the uh, metro goes there, doesn't it? The BART Bay Area Rapid Transit. And we wait, and yeah, it is San Francisco next, which is around 15 minutes from here. It's quite a distance, I think it's 10, no, 18 miles actually, I think. Let's get the door shut, and we can see. Decent, I got everything again, awesome. Oh, 12 miles, okay, a bit less than what I did think. Not far, just around the corner to the right. Ah, not far then. Oh, right, Nimble the Bus. Well, you've never liked Sam. That's great, have you? 
always seem to be negative about it, even though it's a nice, you know, very long route in the game. Gives you that proper American you know, heavy freight experience. And a lot of people do like it, but it's your opinion, in the bus. Yeah, thousands of pictures of Mella, thousands. Thousands of pictures, cab rides, sound recordings, um, there's a lot. And obviously getting the thing right, otherwise people will complain. Even if they get it as close as they can, someone will still complain. Alright, let's get that up. Alright, now with the bus. We've got 30 people in, so thanks all for coming in. I'd love to go to Moran and get exclusive access to trains. Oh, we've got 12 miles. You got 80 odd miles an hour, it shouldn't take too long. Fair enough, I'm well Seven miles. So that's a good question. On TS, obviously, train sim, sim, yeah. What route are you sort of playing the most at the moment? I don't know, you play TS quite a bit. Make some capitals for me. Uh, that's alright, Berlin Bear. I don't feel like pausing the game, so I, hope I don't overrun. Fair enough. Well, good luck to all the passengers on there. Coming up to 60 years, coming up San Bruno. It's quite a modern station, actually, on the line. I don't know if it was rebuilt or something, as we sort of come up on this fairly modern looking uh, flyover. Here's San Bruno. Play whichever I feel like. I've recently been playing a lot of ports of direct in South London. AP just raised the foot. Oh, yeah, I saw that Alan Thompson did a uh, review on that. Well, hopefully, give it a few months. I play TS myself. Um, yeah, that'd be brilliant. Because I actually do have all those DLCs from when I used to play. All right, Joe. So it's just uh, I don't know. Stop traffic issues, obviously, with all the level crossings. And... Get the speed back up. I've got four miles. Fair enough for Meta. But once I do get a PC, I'll probably uh, go on to it. I mean, actually, I doubt that would be before rush hour. Um, but if it was, then uh, yeah, I probably would uh, go on it. Just bridge over them, yeah. GP38 there. And coming up to South San Francisco. Yeah, hopefully, Miller. Well, they'll bring, uh, I mean, it's the next sort of ideological step. Well, logical step for the channel. I put them in headsets sometimes. It sort of gets all loose in the actual uh, thing there. 
been doing that recently. Uh, but yeah, obviously once we do get a PC, which is sort of the next ideological step or logical step for the channel, um, TS will be included. Probably do TSW, TS, TSW, sort of, you know, switch it around. Obviously TSW will still be on the console as we you know when we've got all the DLC on it. Uh, probably not David off now, we'll have a nice chill that evening. How you doing Reese mate? Awesome uh, pet. TS Master Race. Well, I've got I've got tons of DLC on TS because I mean I remember on Steam like I'm, I bought like a route for TS and it gave me the flights and world well, it, it crazy on Steam. Like, you buy one route and get two games for free, or you buy one route you want and then you get another two routes. It's uh yeah. Lots of bundles for really cheap on there. Out there fast. Awesome, mate. How you there fast? Awesome, pet. Yeah, good to race some good. Just ordered a Cathcart t-shirt because I love the route so much. Can't wait to get it. Awesome, Jim. Well, much appreciated, mate. Yeah, the Cathcart top is looking really fresh. And also, there is a mug as well. So if you don't like shirts, there's a mug. Have a cup of tea out of it. Hello, Yoshi. How are you? Right, not too far to Bayshore, which I always want to call it Bayside, but that's no, Bayshore next. That is true, man, of the Wessex Peaks. Awesome, uh, Reese. Yeah, not too far to San Francisco, just under six miles now. Good to do fast, halfway done with work for the day and good, got some TSW stream to watch. Awesome mate. Yeah, I'm good. I do have a challenge for you tomorrow. What's the challenge, Davidoff? Right, coming up on Bay Short. Hello Sam, I'm good, how are you? Bridge on here. And we go into the tunnel, um, and then yeah, it's not far to San Francisco once we're through here. Not far at all. But the headlights are so bright on there, the whole tunnel just lights up. Get a bit of uh, whack on that. What are you playing tomorrow? Tomorrow it is the Great Western Express. Uh, obviously, as requested by Davidoff, as he's in like twenty pounds. Uh, so big thanks, Davidoff. Yeah, Great Western Express tomorrow. And there could be two games tomorrow, but I think it will probably be one stream as I might possibly be going out tomorrow on a walk, so... suspects have they been in? A few of them, right? Yeah, a few of them. There we go. 
cool. Hello, Master Seven. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll be tuning into that. I do tune into quite a few of them, but usually I'm doing jobs, so I end up missing them and come in the last five minutes. But yeah, tonight I'll be watching the roadmap stream. Get my jobs done before. And then, uh, yeah. Well, we can do the 166 both ways, David. Yeah, we we'll can do it both ways. But hijack it. Oh, that wouldn't be. Oh, <laughs> I'll probably do that. We'll get in it and bring it back. How do you do, Master of Southern? Go through 22nd Street. It's sort of a weird stage that's sort of tucked away under the highway. Very just. I don't know. It's a bit of an odd station, 22nd Street. San Francisco going just over a mile now and then that will then be it but we've got 36 people in can we try and get up to 40 likes not too keen it seems like a really sort of dodgy station 22nd Street under the highway at night with all the dim lights on it yeah yeah I'm sure I, mean, I think um, they were saying that yeah, they're going to be explaining quite a bit tonight about sort of all the preserved routes and all that. Fair enough, Joe. What about a calf carton? HLB. My hamburg glue bit. I always said it the wrong way around. Hey, there's Glenn. How are you, Glenn? Fair enough, Joe. I suppose maybe that's quite a chilled out thing to do, sort of. You know, on one screen have a TSW passenger journey. And then on your other one, I suppose, doing work on TSW. Good place for a robbery. There's one to inspect. I didn't, what was it, Davido? Awesome. Just over half a mile, it's now down to yards. Almost at journey's end. Yeah, hopefully all well, Glenn. Expecting to see you at the front. Race of your forms is on Joe Street. It's been three years and GWR is still my favourite route. Route for the HSC, I want to see it again in CSW2. Well, the West Cornwall local, you never know, it could have a HSC. Ah, uh, CJ. Fair enough. We got a San Francisco skyline there looking beautiful. The blue machine. The, I can't remember the name of the HS. That's the Midland Pullman. Good to see you, Glenn. It's weird, isn't it? To see, it sort of go through this red. Yeah, we'll try and get back on GT Sport uh, for my Saturday. Uh, probably not. So yeah, GT Sport for Friday most likely we'll do GT Sport on. There's quite a lot of Saturdays now as it's nice weather I've been out so um, yeah GT Sport likely to be on Friday this week. Friday evening racing. All right, Davido. Here we are. Yeah, Rob, how did your service get on? Uh, get on if you're still there, mate. I think he did say he might be playing along. That one's off. Oh, I can feel the slide, I can feel the clag there, look, we're getting down to 30 FPS. That's all the fumes coming out of that one. Uh, yes, chain call, we are, once we get to San Francisco, that will then be it. Get ready for the roadmap stream, which is at 8 o'clock. And 
Here we are. All right, San Francisco. We made it, just about. And you get the tail lights on by clicking up here. Cool. Maybe it's trying cool, who knows? Maybe in future we'll see a bit of multiplayer action on it. Well, this is San Francisco 4th Street slash King Street. Just has two names to it, pretty much. Oh, we can... I've never actually seen it from the outside here. I've never flown out here. That's brilliant. But yeah, anyway, that is going to be everyone for today. You're having barbecue sandwiches. Interesting for dinner, lovely. Uh, summertime, August maybe. Yeah, but that is going to be it for me. Obviously, thanks all for coming in. If you did enjoy today's stream, do thank Rob. He did uh, choose today's route. And obviously, thanks again for the donation, Rob. And obviously, thanks to David off as well. But yeah, that's going to be it for me. Obviously, the roadmap stream is in half an hour's time. Obviously, you will find a link in the description to the Discord server, to the PayPal, and to the merch store. Uh, obviously, we've got the Cathcart Circle merch in there now, looking really good. Uh, cheers, Pete. And obviously, yeah, thanks everyone for coming in. And I hopefully we'll see you next time. Next stream, we'll probably be same time tomorrow uh, but i'll put it in the discord see you all and take care bye guys